increasingly, even Republicans and right wingers in Florida know that they cannot be seen with Matt Gates, and they can't even really talk about Matt Gates. That's how bad his scandals are, and that's how screwed he is. This is important because politics is both local and national when you're talking about a congressman. There's Matt Gates in Washington, but there's also Matt Gates in Florida. As we've talked about, he was a Florida state level politician before he went federal, and crucially, his dad is a big player in local Florida politics. He's a multi multi millionaire, and he's very influential within the Republican Party, locally in Florida in particular. And all of the scandals we've been seeing are Florida based. People like Joel Greenberg and Jason Pizzarolo, you know, Matt Gates' friends and accomplices are also Florida guys. So what you're seeing from various sources now is that Florida lobbyists and Florida Republicans are being told, do not get caught talking about Matt Gates and especially talking with Matt Gates being seen with Matt Gates. There are headlines saying that Florida lobbyists behind the scenes are being warned, do not go to Matt Gates right now because you do not want your company or your interest or your industry to be associated with this scumbag if the hammer does come down. You don't want to be representing a particular company going to Matt Gates to give him a donation or try to influence him and then be there when the FBI busts in to arrest him or something like that. Or even more tamely, you don't want to be there and then have the next day the news story be nationwide, Florida wide, that Matt Gates is finally being charged, finally being indicted for something. You don't want that association. And so while, yes, you want to influence members of Congress, it's not worth the risk to be associating with Matt Gates. And again, crucially, Gates is a Florida man. He is deeply intertwined with right-wing Florida politics and has been for his entire life, even since he's been a boy, via his father and his family. And the fact that no one in Florida is speaking out for him, no one, not the governor, not other Florida politicians. His only real ally right now is Marjorie Taylor Greene, but she's a Georgia Republican. No one locally is standing with him. That's shocking. And there's a couple things here. Some people have suggested that this is a favor to Gates, that if people were going to say anything, it would be negative. So Gates, his daddy has basically bribed people and you know called in favors to tell everyone to stay silent about his son. And maybe that's playing a role. But I think it's far more likely that they're not speaking out because they know he's guilty. Because they know that all of these parties happen, that the the rumors of these parties are far more true than they are not. And again, as I've noted, there have been plenty of Republicans that have had awful things said about them and the right wing media continues to defend them. And if anything, leans in harder when the left attacks a fellow Republican, if they felt that Gates could be defended, they would be defending him. But he's not on Fox. Florida Republicans aren't talking about him. Lobbyists aren't going to him. This is a guy that's in trouble. Remember that in politics, there's the image a party or an individual portrays of confidence, of security, of knowing that they're right. But the mechanics of the behind the scenes politics matter more and are far more illustrative. Look at who's not talking about Gates and that'll tell you everything.